Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about using your Cricut machine for embroidery. Now today's video is sponsored by Cricut, however all projects and opinions are my own. So you might think of a Cricut machine and think of cutting paper or vinyl or heat transfer vinyl for shirts, but a Cricut machine can do so much more. I love to push all of my Cricut machines to the limit and today I'm going to use the Cricut Maker 3 to draw embroidery patterns onto fabric. So this is a great way to get started with embroidery or push your embroidery skills to the limit. So let me tell you a little bit about my crafting journey. So as a young child I loved cross stitch and embroidery. I used to do it all the time. As I got older I sort of fell out of that and stopped doing it as much. However I see all these amazing embroidery crafts on places like Pinterest right now and I'm kind of obsessed. So I tried to think of a way where I could use my Cricut machine to work with embroidery and bring those two worlds together and maybe get back into embroidery myself. So if you are like me and used to do maybe cross stitch or embroidery and want to jump back in, you might want to try drawing some embroidery patterns onto fabric with your Cricut machine. All you need is fabric, an embroidery hoop, and some embroidery thread and then the washable fabric pen. And you can actually use any Cricut machine. I'm gonna use my Maker 3 today, but grab any Cricut machine you have for this project. Then you can start practicing your stitches and hopefully once again, get pretty good. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to do embroidery or any of the embroidery stitches. I know there are plenty of experts out there on embroidery and I am by far not an expert on embroidery. I'm just picking up the craft again and sort of practicing my stitches. But to me, my Cricut machine makes it super easy. I can draw a variety of patterns and just kind of start practicing my stitches until I get pretty good. Then draw an embroidery pattern with my Cricut and make something to hang on my wall. So first let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna need. So you'll need a Cricut machine with the washable fabric pen. Now I'm gonna use my Cricut Maker 3 for this, but any Cricut machine that takes the pen would work. Then you're gonna need fabric in the color of your choice, embroidery thread in the color of your choice, embroidery hoops in the size of your choice, and the fabric grip mat. Now that we have all our supplies, I do wanna take a minute in Cricut Design Space and show you what works best for drawing with the washable fabric pen on fabric. You want to choose certain images and designs for this project. So let's take a look in Cricut Design Space and pick a few projects to start on. I like to look for designs that are single line designs. So these are just a few I found in Cricut Design Space that I thought would be perfect for embroidery. Let me walk you through the steps and how I found these. So for me I click images, then over here on the side where the filters are I click operation type and draw only. So that gets me all designs that are just a single line and can be drawn with a pen. And then I search for an image. So I may search flower. And then all these flowers pull up that would be perfect for this project. So now all that's left to do is to scroll through these and pick my favorites. I've already picked several designs that I thought would work for this project. So I'm gonna pick like three of these that I really like, resize them to fit my embroidery hoop, and then we'll talk about the next steps. So now that I have all of my designs in design space and size correctly, I'm ready to click make it. I did wanna note on this design, I did remove some of the lines and I did that by clicking contour. So if you wanna remove any of the elements of any design, just click the design, click contour, click to remove each of the pieces and then you're ready to go. So now let's click make it. I do have Maker 3 chosen as my machine. I am going to tell it I want to cut on the mat. Now these designs are all on one mat. I do want to move them to where they are on different mats because I want to use three different colors of fabric. So I'll just click the three dots, move object, and put it on a new mat. You can pick the color of that mat and click confirm. Now I have a pink mat with that image and now I want to move this one to another mat. All right, so now I have this version on a purple mat, this version on a pink mat, this version on a white mat. However, I do want more room left around my design to actually put it in my embroidery hoop. So you just click 
the object and move it around on the mat. So I'm gonna give myself a good two and a half inches on both the top and the side. These cases, the embroidered hoops are smaller, so I could probably give myself just about two inches on each side on this one and even smaller on this one, maybe about an inch and a half. So now that everything is moved and in location, I can click continue. So you do wanna set your base material to whatever you're using. So I'm using a light fabric, so let's try cotton and click done. And it tells us to load our pen and I did not change the pen type to the washable fabric pen. And again, no tools are required in clamp B because we are just going to draw on the fabric and not cut it. So now I have my three projects I'm gonna start on. Let's head to the Cricut machine and see how to draw those onto fabric. Do you wanna add the fabric pen to clamp A, hold it from the bottom, press down until it clicks, then close the clamp. Then just load your mat into your machine and press the go button to draw the design. Machine is done drawing. You can eject the mat and we're ready to start the embroidery. So just peel the fabric back from the mat. You'll just wanna add it to your embroidery hoop. Separate the two rings and put the inner ring behind the design. This fabric's thin enough where I can kinda of see where the hoop is, but you could also feel it if the fabric was thicker. So once I have it where I want it, I want the screw at the top because I am gonna leave mine inside the embroidery hoop. You might remove yours later and frame it or something like that, which is fine. So just press the outer hoop down onto the inner hoop, and then we wanna pull the fabric tight. So I like to just pull it from the back. You don't wanna pull it too much. You just wanna pull it to where it's tight, and I like for it to be kinda of like a drum on the inside. Once I have it as tight as I want it, I am going to tighten the screw at the top, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my embroidery to the fabric. I don't like to finish off the embroidery hoop itself until after I've completed the entire design. Because I might wanna remove it later to get this marker off or it might shift slightly as I'm working on it and I can fix it later as long as I have this excess hanging out. So now I'll just pick my thread colors and start working on my design. So you can use any color embroidery thread that you would like and any stitches. So you can learn different embroidery stitches and do them with this technique. So you're just using your Cricut machine to draw on the actual pattern and then you're just filling it in with embroidery thread. So do that in any way you would like, depending on the design, what the look you're going for, and how talented you are with embroidery. So just have fun with it and fill in your entire area with various stitches. Then we'll take a look at finishing off this embroidery hoop art. When you're done with the embroidery, you will need to remove any marks that are from the washable fabric pen. To do that, what I like to do is first trim around the outside. I do like to leave quite a bit at this point and then loosen the screw, remove the piece from the hoop, and then the best way to remove this pen is with hot water. So I like to take this to my kitchen sink use my kitchen sprayer and spray hot water over the entire area and the pen will erase. I have done that with this one. So this one had pen marks all over it and all I did was spray it down and then allowed it to dry completely. So this is completely dry and now we can finish this one off. To finish, we'll just add back to the embroidery hoop, put the outer ring back on and center the design. Once the design is where you want it, tighten the screw up some, and then again, pull the fabric to where it's tight, but you don't wanna distort the embroidery image. Then once you have it where you want it and it's tight, we'll just tighten the screw as much as possible. Then what I like to do to finish off the back is to use a craft knife to cut the fabric as close as possible to the hoop. Then you can just use hot glue around this area to secure everything into place. And then once you've done that, your embroidery hoop art is ready to hang on the wall. And so now that I've been stitching away, you can see some of the results and you saw me finish one of my projects and I'm gonna continue and finish the rest of these as well. 
I feel like I got better with each project. So I'm hoping as I improve my skills, I can get better at embroidery and start doing it regularly with my Cricut machine. So if you like this video, learn something new, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, drop it in the comment section, ask away. If you haven't already, hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. We have videos like this every single week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. So thank y'all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.